Here is something the Lord wants to tell you. Don't stress yourself looking for good march for yourself. Don't go through the stress of doing that alone because you cannot do it yourself. Leave it to me. Believe that I can do it and that person that I have prepared for you will locate you. God has a wonderful plan for you. He has a purpose for you. And He won't let you go off the track just because you are in need or you are looking for something or someone. And with confidence, we have in Him that His plans for us are great and mighty. And then we know He has destined and prepared the right people for us at every point in our lives. For anyone who is looking for a life partner, the person He has destined for you will locate you. You don't have to go running from one person to the other just to figure out the right one to pick from in all the people you have come across because He wants to do that for you and He is waiting for you to just hand it over to Him. When we are getting ready to begin a relationship, we sometimes forget to involve God in it. We begin it in our own and using our own strength, forgetting that our strength will not be sufficient to carry us. And along the way, we get tired of it. We feel drained by it and start losing the sense of focus we thought we had. Then we end up with the wrong person because we followed what we thought was right and good for us, which is only in the sight of men and not important in the eyes of God. You look for handsome men or beautiful ladies. You follow their height or generally their physical characteristics. How sure then are you that tall and handsome man is the person God has prepared for you? How sure will you live that dream life you thought you have with that person? Soon, you will turn into that person's punching bag, that person you were running after, that you thought was the perfect march for you. That is the mistake most of us do or fall into. We forget about God and start walking in the part we have created for ourselves. Until when we are in trouble, when you start asking Him questions and saying things that are not meant to be said. What God is trying to point out to you is the right way to go about it. It is that you should involve Him in everything you do. Even the first step you want to take should be known to Him. You should take Him as the first person to talk to about it. Don't put Him in the second place and run to friends to give you advice. He is the only one that knows what will be best for you and not just what you think you need because what you think you need might not be what He wants you to have. Stop trying to figure it out by yourself. Using your own wisdom, He is the God of wisdom and He knows all things, so don't fool yourself by doing it alone. You just can't do it, so why go through the stress of trying? Something else we should not do is this. Do not have any preference or have a particular someone in mind because it will block your eyes and blind you from the people God is bringing to you that are meant for you. Do you sometimes wonder why you pray about your life partner and it seems like he is silent? That is because you don't have the right disposition, nature, character, outlook, and temper, and you don't have a focus. What I mean by focus here is this. When asking God, you come to Him with a second option. When you come with a second option, you won't be focused on whatever He is saying to you because you already believe, even if I don't get any answer for this one, I will just go with the other one. You don't expect God to answer or talk to you when you are coming to Him with your own plan B. Why then did you come when you already have gotten a plan B? Also, we confuse the act of being specific in our requests to God and our preferences. We come to God to ask for what we need, even giving Him specifications for them. That's not right, and He won't give you an answer. Let's take an example. You come before Him saying, O oh Lord, I need a wife, a tall, beautiful, fair in complexion, long hair and blue eyes. These are your specifications. 
What if the person he has prepared for you is a short, dark lady? Do you expect him to answer you? No, he won't. Until you change your mindset and focus on what you came to ask for. Ask in prayer whatever he needs and he will do his part because he knows you more than you know yourself. He knows the kind of partner that you will be able to flow with. He knows what is best for you and he will never withhold anything good from you. Instead, he will give you the best because you are his child. And as his sons and daughters, you talk to him like your father and he will answer you as your father. Know that he has prepared the right person for you since the beginning of creation because he finds you to be fruitful and multiply. And we saw how he made a perfect companion for Adam. He has also prepared the right person and companion for you to be with. They will come to you at the right and appointed time he has made. So you should follow him and wait for the appointed time that the person he has prepared for you will locate you and not for you to walk alone and be looking for the person. An example in the Bible who the person God has prepared for him located him was Isaac. In the book of Genesis 24, when it was time for him to get married, after the instructions were given by his father Abraham to his servants to get him a wife from among his relatives, he gave Abraham his words. In obedience to that instruction, the first thing he did was to pray. He knew that a lot of women will come to fetch water at the well and it will be hard to get the right wife for Isaac by just looking at their faces, beauty, and physical appearance. He knows that will not work and that is why he prayed. In his prayer, he said he will ask for a drink from one of them and if she agrees to give him a drink of water and get some water for his camels, then he will know that she is the one chosen. Did you see that? He didn't involve any specifications in the person. He prayed and asked for a sign, using the person who will offer him water. And once that he got the sign, he knew she was the right person. He didn't go through the stress of looking from one house to another for a lady. But after he prayed, the person God had prepared to be a wife for his master Isaac located him. Did you see the power in that? This is what everyone looking for a partner should do. Pray. Put him first in it. Let him know you believe that he can do it and that he is your only hope. Let him know that you put him first in this important issue because you know that you cannot do it alone and that he alone can give you the right person and save you from the stress of looking for what you think is best for you. Let him know that you came to him because he is your God and place of solution, not elsewhere. He will answer you speedily to let you know that he is God and you did the right thing and you won't regret calling on him first. Your sign will not be the water thing, but you will know your sign to get once they have located you. Don't stress yourself. Just ask in prayer with the right disposition and in the right way, he will surely answer you and that person he has prepared for you will locate you. You can't put him first in a thing and still see that the thing failing or having problems. It will surely be perfect, so whatever it may be, not just in the area of seeking for a life partner, in all you do, call on him first. He will answer you in due time, and you will see the difference between those who wait and call on God first for whatever they need, and those who go ahead to use their strength and wisdom to get what they seek.